There are in excess of 5,000 septic systems in the city of Casey. If you have one, it's important that you maintain it, not only for your family's health, but for the health of the environment. This video explains how septic systems work and what you can do to ensure your system is operating effectively. So what is a septic system and how do they work? A septic system is an on-site wastewater treatment and disposal system. Generally, a septic system consists of a tank and a series of soil absorption trenches. Wastewater passes through the tank, the heavier solids sink to the bottom, then the bacteria in the tank break it down, creating a sludge layer. Materials such as oils and fats float to the surface, forming a crust over the liquid. The remaining liquid, called effluent, then flows from your tank into the pipes in your soil absorption trenches, and then into the surrounding soil. Let's talk about septic system maintenance. All septic systems have a lifespan. In order to maximise the life of your system, there are a number of things that you can do. Minimise your water use. The more water you use, the more wastewater you would generate and need to treat. Be mindful of the amount and types of cleaning chemicals that you use. Large amounts of disinfectants can kill bacteria that live in your system. Read the label of cleaning products before purchasing to see if they are septic system friendly. Try spreading your loads out during the week. Ensure that you divert roof and surface water away from the irrigation absorption area. Never divert stormwater through your septic system. Fit all vents with mosquito-proof mesh to prevent mosquito breeding. Don't dispose of oil, fat and food scraps into your system. And don't flush non-degradable products down the system, such as wet wipes, disposable, nappies and sanitary products. Don't construct any driveways, buildings or paved areas over the system. Not only could this result in access issues, but you could also run the risk of damaging your expensive system. Avoid parking or driving over your system. And if you have livestock, keep them away from your irrigation absorption areas. Make sure not to plant any trees or shrubs too close to your irrigation field, as the roots can grow into your system and clog it up. Don't modify your septic system or your home without council approval. For example, don't add an additional bathroom your system has been designed to handle a specific volume of wastewater per day. You don't want to overload it. Get your system serviced on a regular basis by an accredited servicing agent. If you have a treatment plant or secondary treatment system, you will generally need to do this every three months. Check with the manufacturer of your system as failure to service them at the correct frequency may void your warranty. Be sure to keep your service records handy as well. As a general rule, septic systems will need to be pumped out every three years. However, check the details of your permit. How do I know if my septic system is working properly? When your system is serviced, you will get a service report which should highlight any problems. Signs that your system might be failing include slow drainage or plumbing fixtures, waste coming out of the overflow relief gully, the ground where the absorption irrigation field is located becomes soggy, seepage of wastewater from the soil to the surface, sewage smells on your property, gurgling pipes and water is draining from your fixtures. Don't forget, your septic system is there because your home isn't connected to the main sewage system. If your system isn't working properly, it means it can't treat and disperse your wastewater safely. Failure of your system can result in ill health, both for your family and the environment, particularly local waterways, loss of amenity and complaints from neighbours in relation to odour and runoff from your property. Don't ignore signs of problems with your septic system. Call a plumber and get the problem sorted. For more information regarding septic systems, go to Casey's website, www.casey.vic.gov.au. Call us on 9705 5200. Alternatively, you can send us an email, nhealth at casey.vic.gov.au.